Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for back 4 app and in today's video we'll continue our flutter and parse series of videos going deeper into our sub-series data objects and today we'll be talking about files. So many of you requested this video and files is a property that can be easily used to deliver file contents to your end users and you can rely on back 4 apps uh, infrastructure to deliver uh, any kind of file, binary files, text files, video files, audio files, all around the globe, very easily and very consistently among platforms. And it's so easy to do and to consume from uh, uh, mobile devices. I will show you how to do it today. And what's better, better is it's very, very flexible. So there is a uh, limitation for for the file format in back for app we limited this file size for 20 megabytes uh, but this can be set to match your uh, needs so if for any reason you need bigger files than 20 megabytes uh, it, please uh, talk to our support team, they will change the settings so you can host bigger files and you can even can rely on or CDN to accelerate content delivery for your end users, such as videos and music files. So here I have my to-do app from previous videos and we will be creating a new class in here called gallery, where we will be storing images. But the process is exactly the same for any kind of files that you want to save. So if you have video files, text files, PDF files, you name it, it's exactly the same process, um, but you have to, code a different way for the user to pick those files because today we'll be picking images. So here I have my Visual Studio code and I'll start declaring the parse file object. We do that by typing parse file base question mark parse file. Then I'll make an if to determine if this is a web uh, presentation for the UI or a um, mobile uh, or desktop presentation of the UI. So if k is web, we're going to do the flutter web uh, code, which is parse file equals parse file uh, web file. And then await pick a file read as bytes. Well, with that done, we are going to set the name image.jpg or if not, we're going to be dealing with a mobile or desktop environment. And in this case, we'll declare the parse file as parse file equals parse file, then file, pick and file dot path. This way, the mobile devices will read the path and read the file itself and submit its contents to parse. Uh, it is, as always, an asynchronous call. And in the end, you'll retrieve a file object, which is composed by two uh, uh, properties, the file name, which is set up here, or and the file URL that can be used to retrieve the file from the web, wherever you are. So then we are going to type await parse file dot save, and then final gallery equals, then I'll name the uh, class that I'm going to save the file on, in this case, parse object and gallery. With that, dot set file, which is my uh, column name, my property name, and then the contents of the parse file. With all that done, all that done, await gallery dot save. With all that, oops, I'm going to save and run flutter, run. Bring my simulator up. Actually, I'm going to need the Visual Studio first to select the simulator. There you go, select number two is my simulator. Go back to the simulator. It's compiling right now, takes a couple of minutes. There you go, then we can click upload file, click here to pick an image. If this is the first time that you run, you probably get a warning telling you uh, if you authorize the application to access your photos. And, uh, I already did this before, so it didn't show it to me, but probably will show it to you for the first time. Then I'm going to pick a photo and click upload file. 
there you go, the file was uploaded to Parse. So if I go back to my Google Chrome and I have to re refresh the whole screen so I can retrieve the new schemas. Here is my gallery. If I click that, here is my file uh, column of the file type. If I click this here, I can download the photo for the URL property. So here is my photo. I can replace the file manually if I want, and I can delete the file from the dashboard myself. In future videos, when we start to see queries, I'll show you how to retrieve those files and consume it on your mobile device. But that's what I got for today. So if you want to really accelerate the delivery of your files around the globe, it's a very, very useful way to use Parse to deliver those files for you because it's so simple to do, very reliable and very fast. So I hope you like this video and hope to see you on the next ones of the series soon. See you soon. Bye bye.